We've been listening to your feedback on the latest Warhammer 3 DLC, Shadows of Change. And we've added more to the original release, with a host of new units that will come out in our next patch, 4.2. So strap in as we delve into these extra shadowy changes to see exactly what you can expect, including new units, lords, heroes, legendary heroes, and spells. The Jade Dragon is often at the forefront of Grand Cathay's defense. And who better to join him than Satang the Watcher, Sentinel of the Heavens. Drawn down from the peaks of the mountains of heaven to fulfill its honor in defending Grand Cathay, Satang is a legendary hero whose colossal stature lands it as a giant in unit size. Its huge wings allow it to swiftly jump across the battlefield, taking it to where it is needed most. And to close the distance from foes even further, its magic-infused bow lays down devastating artillery-grade hits. Holding a strong defensive front line takes experience, and who better to lead the Jade Warriors than a gate master of the Celestial Cities? This hero will boost your army's defensive capabilities through unit buffs and a ranged attack to target foes across the line. When mounted, the gate master can quickly move across the battlefield to improve defensive efforts where they are needed most. The Great Moonbird. Both a monstrous single entity flying unit and a mount option for powerful characters, this creature offers Grand Cathay much more diversity in its aerial tactics. Moonfire flaming attacks and a powerful area of effect vortex ability provide extra firepower from the skies. Joining the Great Moonbird in the skies above the battlefield is the Celestial Line. Winged monstrous unit and mount, these creatures offer quick movement on ground and in air and strike fear into the hearts of nearby enemies. The Chaos Lord of Siege is built for combat. Marked by the Chaos God, he is granted magical attacks and a barrier by default. He excels in taking on large targets. His terrifying presence inspires his followers, improving their leadership and damage resistance through ability Change or Die, and recharging barriers of nearby allies through Paragon of Change. His powers increase further when mounted upon a Disc of Siege. The exalted hero of Siege is a three-headed brute who is always keen to get into the thick of battle. You can't hide from him because of the three heads. And with his Meeting of the Minds ability, he can gain an increase on melee attack and defense when spells are cast on the battlefield. The Mark of Siege spreads further through the addition of the Centigores of Siege. Adding a bestial cavalry into the mix offers players of Siege a fast and hard-hitting unit with armor-piercing weapons and magical attacks such as Arcane Charge to increase their damage. And finally, for Siege, we have the Change Bringers. A step up from the usual Flamers of Siege, these monstrosities glide across the field. No time to prepare for their onslaught, especially with their increased charge bonus. The Lore of the Hag is a new spell lore available to both Mother Ostankia and her Hag Witches. It is comprised of six new spells and a lore tribute focused on both hexing enemy units and overcasting to bless your own. The new spells include Vengeance of the Spirits, Cursed Cauldron, Melediction of Madness, The Forbidden Fens, Witch Brew, and Curse of the Ancient Witch. For more information on the lore of the Hag Mother herself, check out our Shadows of Change update blog posts. The Drazina is a lesser noble that dwells beyond the walls of Kislev's great cities, confidently in touch with and connected to the nature that surrounds them. They provide leadership to Mother Astankia's armies, ready to attack any who threaten their lands. A hybrid approach with both ranged and melee attacks makes the Drazina a fitting addition to the Kislev Lord roster. Nearby missile units can gain ammo replenishment, so it's worth keeping them close. Nariska Leska, more commonly known on the battlefield, as the Golden Knight, a title befitting the greatest warrior amongst the Drazina. Her role unifies the divided church and state. She is a champion of the Ice Queen and acts as a bodyguard to nearby lords and heroes. Her golden suit of armor serves to protect and inspire, as the more damage she takes on, the more inspiration her surrounding comrades gain. No army is complete without a strong foundational warrior unit. The Kislevite warriors add a baseline of defense to your army. They are cheap to recruit, have decent charge resistance and anti-large capabilities, providing you the numbers to set back any enemy's plan of conquering. They'll show you how the North does things. And from the smallest of foot soldiers to the largest of worms? The Frostworm, creatures of magic following in the Ice Queen's mission. 
not to be mistaken for the newly renamed Norsk and Chaos Frost Dragon. Their deadly concoction of fast movement and unit slowing frostbite attacks can put a quick end to enemy's plans, especially flanking maneuvers. The Frostworm is also available as a mount for Katarin, when she ties of her sled that is. Katarin's sled is a free update to all players in patch 4.2. These new units and spells are all included in patch 4.2 for current and new owners of Shadows of Change DLC. For more information on all of the original content for this pack, check out our previous videos by following the links in the description. For more info on this update, check out our blogs.